It's your boy, Brennan Wolf, back at it again with a little combo guide video. Going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks and some different combos that you can use on Fiora. So we got the slide parry, which is just the Q and the W. What I like about the slide parry is that you can actually use your parry anytime within the Q, so you can use it instantly. You can hold it and then throw it backwards like that. So there are a lot of different ways. But also, your Q actually does damage when you're sliding, so it's a way to do a little bit of double damage as well. And you can put it in any direction. Also, you can do that and like catch Jinx traps or like if you're in Vigar Cage, slide parry into it, stun somebody with that. Uh, let's see, Flash W, they never expect that. So actually, I can show you guys. So a Flash W, a Flash W, just using your actual parry to catch something like let's say. Aurelia uses her E, you can flash into it actually. So there's another trick that you can do and you can actually change the direction of where you're gonna hit a vital by using flash. So if I'm like attacking this guy and I wanna flash over this and hit the bottom vital, I can do that. Just by waiting until you're about to hit the auto and then flashing. So you'll actually hit it from the side where you flashed, but you're actually hitting the bottom vital there. So now we got a few uh, in lane tips to help you out. So anytime a vital is towards you, any of your abilities are actually auto attack reset. So if I Q in, I can actually Q and get an auto attack to trade when the vital is like this. So you Q, auto attack, back off. And that's always a great trade to take, especially in like the early laning phase as well. And then also going on with that, once you have your whip available, you can use that. So you can actually Q, auto attack, and use your active. And basically with all of Fiora's abilities, since they are auto attack cancels, with your E, you can actually get four auto attacks off with it because of that. Or you can even weave your Q into it as well. E. So the full so the full combo would actually be auto EQ E auto. That'd be the fastest one. General rule of thumb, if you're in between two walls and you're about to ult somebody, it's usually best to actually get the vitals that are gonna be if somebody's trying to close them off on the wall take those first so like the ones on the left and right here and then probably get the back one because you want to basically with the way somebody's running away if this was their tower and he's running backwards towards that i'd probably want to hit this one this one and then that one and then as he runs flashes or whatever i have this one in front of me as i'm chasing to actually hit that as well so let's say that somebody's already close to the wall or headed towards it that's going to be the vital we want to hit first so in a situation where we're here and this person is moving close to the wall i'm going to go ahead and get behind it before he gets on it and another thing that you can do actually if you already have all three and it's stuck there, you can actually start to move away. And this only works if you have flash. Typically, you're going to want flash if you're going to do this. But if you start to walk away, sometimes they feel a little bit more comfortable and they'll walk off it just a bit. Just enough for you to actually flash back in and hit it. Sometimes when somebody is already on the wall, there's actually a way to hit the vital. You just need to be able to keep in mind your Q is going to like be directional. So if you actually end up getting right behind them, like your character behind the wall, you'll actually still hit it. So in this situation where he's like, going to try to hold it this way. We could just Q underneath of him, basically, and be able to hit it. There's also ways that you could hit a vital if somebody was holding it on a thin wall like this one here. When we ult, we can just go from here and here and actually just hit it from over top of the wall on this side. That would still hit the vital as well if we did it. We can still Q from here. Since our Q has this big of a range, if we were to Q here, it's still going to hit him from the other side of it. So this goes back to what we were doing before. Uh, doing the fast four is an auto flash E and then using the whip or an auto attack to hit the next two, whichever direction you wanna go. And you can do it anyway as well. So so right after you fist, hit the first auto is when you would go ahead and flash E for the next fight, whichever one you wanted. I think it's always best to do it in like a rotation, like counterclockwise, clockwise. I think that's always the best way to do it. Anytime that I try to do the ulti, I always like to run around them like this, and I think that's easier to hit than it is to go from here to here and then try to get like the rest of them, unless you're doing the flash combo. All right, guys, and that's the video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully these tips and combos help you guys out learning Fiora and on your ranked climb. And until next time, peace out.